Welcome. In this video, we will go over how to properly fill out the food cost sheets as outlined in the menu project rubric. For this demonstration, I have downloaded and lined up the food cost sheets on my desktop. I also have my food price sheet as well as a working document with my menu item as well as the ingredients that are in it. This information will be needed to fill out the forms. Let's get started. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the Entree Food Cost Template. The Sides Food Cost Template and the Beverage Template have more than one food cost per page to save some paper. And the Recipe Food Cost Template has only one per page. Double click on your icon and open up the template. The first thing you're going to need to do is to rename the template. You're going to want to use this file over and over again. The file that you receive won't have the colors in it, which will make it less costly to print. To save each individual item, my suggestion would be to name it after the menu item. Going to File, Save As, I'm going to save to the same location where I opened the file from, but I'm going to change the name to Entree Lunch California Bacon Burger and hit Save. You won't get this error as this formatting won't be on your file. You can see up top that the new name for the template is my entree item. Alright, let's start filling this out. First we're going to start with the menu item. As indicated before, we're going to be doing the California Bacon Burger. For an individual entree item, the number of portions is generally always going to be one. When you go to fill out the recipe, the portions should be 15 or above. The size of the portion. We talked about this in class a little bit. This is the total amount of food that you're putting on the plate. We will look at this number once we've filled out the rest of the form. The selling price. I have a sample menu, which we will look at in another video. But for the California Bacon Burger, I priced it at $9.25. The date. Very important. This indicates when you costed the item, which can change very rapidly. All right, let's get started with the ingredient costing. For this item, when looking at my working document, I can see that I have beef, cheddar cheese, avocado, red onion, lettuce, and french fries. Beef, I'm going to put in the 80-20 that indicates the type of meat. 80% lean meat to 20% fat. Next we are going to enter in the quantity. Entering something into the weight or the count in volume, not into both areas. For beef, we are going by weight, which would be 8. The unit is ounces. And the AP price, ground beef, 26 cents. At this point, you can see that these prices won't calculate until you put something in the yield box. For this, we'll assume that we bought the product ground, and it has a 98% yield ratio. At this point you can see that there was a slight increase in the price. 
The overall cost for the 8 ounces of mead has been calculated to $2.12. The subtotal cost of the recipe at this point is $2.14 to indicate the 1% of cost factor. And without adding anything else to this plate, our current cost percentage is 23.17%. If we didn't add any cost to the recipe at this point, we would be running a 23.17% food cost. But now we're going to add the other cost of the items. The cheese was shredded and we did it by weight, 2 ounces. And our food price is 38 cents per ounce. assume that we get approximately 98% out of our shredded cheese. The onion, we are not doing the onion by weight, we're doing it by volume, which is one slice, it's a count. And on our food cost sheet, we've calculated one slice of onion is three cents. And onions, we will look at our yield. Red mediums have an 89% yield. 89%. You'll see the price doesn't change because the yield is so insignificant. Leaf of lettuce is also a count. One each that is four cents for one leaf Point zero four go back to our produce yield chart. Lettuce red leaf, 67% yield. Bun, generally you're going to buy buns by the count. We'll put one each. And we'll look to the food price sheet. Burger roll, 26 cents. I'm going to assume that we get 100% yield out of our pre-bought burgers. For avocado, we're going to do avocado by the count. So one avocado, we cost it out. We're going to use 0.25 avocados. Each. as purchase price for each avocado is one dollar and the yield on this will be 100 percent because we costed the avocado out by the each taking the skin into account and then french fries in our working document we have four ounces This actually was weight, so we will go over to the weight column for ounces and our as purchase price. is 12 cents for an ounce. I'm going to assume our 100% yield out of our frozen french fries. The final cost for the total recipe is $4.02.
$9.25 is our selling price, and our food cost is 43.47%. That's slightly high, and we might look at raising our price. To finalize this food cost sheet, you would need to look at the total amount of food and try to get an average size. I can look and say there's 8 ounces of beef, and 2 ounces of cheese, which is 10 ounces. Then there's 4 ounces of french fries, which makes it 14 ounces. And maybe between the bun and the avocado, there's another 2 ounces. So here I would write 16 ounces to give an average size of the amount of food to indicate just how much weight a product is actually going out to the customer. This sheet would be complete. I would hit save. Saving this burger and now I have completed one of the food cost sheets for my menu project.